Good morning, everybody. It's your host, Root Dog. I'm here with another episode of Geota Trail. And today I have some exciting news. I'm heading out to Cascade Locks, Oregon, and I'm going to start hiking north on the PCT and just do a couple nights out there uh, towards Indian Heaven Wilderness, um, just outside of Mount Adams area. Um, and so, yeah, I'm going to document this first use of my stuff. I got all my gear packed up. I'm ready to walk out the door right now. I'm sitting at about 30 pounds. Um, food, water, clothes, everything. Which is a little bit heavier than I would like to be, but it, it'll work. Um, some extra stuff I have with me. I have my winter coat because it is going to be cold at night. Um, and I haven't replaced that. It's a, about a 10 year old mountain hardware um, parka. And so it's not the most ultra light of, of gear to take along, but that's uh, the best coat I got. Um, anyway, yeah, 30 pounds, um, and plus the clothes I'm wearing. And uh, the goal is to um, do this completely uh, by uh, public transportation and foot power. So as you know, I don't have a car, so this is gonna be a good first experiment. I'm gonna be riding uh, the Max out to Gateway Transit Center. The Max is the Portland area um, train, so the commuter train. So I'm gonna take the commuter train over to Gresham to the Gateway Transit Center, get on the um, Columbia Gorge Express bus, take that to Cascade Locks and start walking from there. That's the plan and I will let you know how that goes. Looks like we'll have some decent weather. Should be pretty exciting. Stay tuned. Good evening everybody, Roop Dog here with you, here uh, for the first time coming to you out on the trail, actually on the PCT, I'm about 10 miles north of Bridge of the Gods in Washington, um, testing out my gear uh, for a short couple, uh, three day trip, uh, two nights, three days, uh, just here on the PCT. Um, so yeah, uh, mentioned earlier, I was doing this all without a car. So uh, earlier today, I took the Max from Hillsboro the whole way to Gresham and then caught the CAT bus. The, uh, that's the uh, Columbia area transit bus uh, that runs uh, through the gorge. So got off in Cascade Locks, walked across the bridge, and here I am. Uh, simple as that. Uh, it took me about four hours on public transit to uh, get out here. Um, and. Uh, was able to get onto the trail at about uh, 3.30 this afternoon and then uh, bedded down uh, as it started to rain a little bit harder uh, right about 8 o'clock. So um, yeah, so far um, my gear has, my new gear has uh, performed admirably. Um, like I said, it started to rain pretty heavily. Um, the MSR tarp setup um, was awesome because I could set up the tarp uh, on the ground get that um, set up with my trekking poles and then get underneath the tarp um, to set up the rest of my crap. Uh, so that was awesome because I was already pretty wet because the it had been raining most of the day. Um, which I have to say also the real star so far on this trip um, is the Osprey backpack. Uh, it's the, the Stra um, Stratos 50. So Everything fit into it. Um, my total weight, starting weight, you know, with water and a couple days of food, uh, started with a gallon of water in there, 30 pounds. Um, the pack, uh, it walks like a dream. It, it just feels amazing. Um, the, uh, and what I was gonna say 
was the fact that Osprey includes a rainfly with this pack is just awesome because I started first thing rainfly on <laughs> uh, and had the rainfly on most of the day and my gear was very nice and dry when I got to camp. Um, so uh, also uh, trying out tonight the uh, North Face one bag. I've got it at the 20 degree setting. Got the uh, the blue layer zipped off. So far very nice and warm. Um, testing out my new camp mug. Just made up some dinner. So made up a jailhouse specialty. Uh, I, <laughs> I did actually learn this in jail, unfortunately. Um, so with commissary in jail, you used to be able to buy ramen and you used to be able to buy um, tuna packages. Uh, so if you've ever been in jail, you know uh, the food is absolutely horrible. They don't give you very much of it. Um, and what they do give you is just shit. Um, very low protein, very, very high carb. Uh, so to get extra protein, um, I would order the tuna packets on commissary. And I don't just like to eat, you know, scarf down plain tuna. So I would also purchase uh, the ramen noodle soups. And so you take your noodle soup, um, heat it up in your, your little cup, your plastic cup that you can buy also in commissary there. <laughs> um, microwave it till it's cooked, dump in the tuna packet, and it is delicious. You have yourself a little fish soup. And so that's what I'm having for dinner here this evening. Um, and yeah, I think that's about all I wanted to talk about so far. Um, of course, I'll be giving you lots more updates as um, trip goes on. Uh, so far, so good. A little damp, but uh, it's nice to be back out in the woods. Good morning, everybody. Roop Dog back here with you, uh, enjoying some oatmeal here on this rainy Friday morning. Um, so it rained all night um, and even hailed a bit this morning. Uh, it's pretty chilly, damp. Uh, so I wanted to say that Having the two-part uh, tarp and tent set up is super freaking nice for that. Um, so I've already taken down the mesh house insert. And I've just got the tarp up um, along with my uh, homemade ground cloth. I got you know, just the typical uh, sheet of Tyvek uh, underneath me here and it's, it was absolutely free. Um, got it at work and this thing is a real star. Um, highly suggest you find yourself a piece of Tyvek. Um, but yeah, just chilling here on the ground cloth and under the tarp, waiting for the rain to clear up, having some oatmeal. Um, yeah, last night uh, I slept really well. Uh, I was warm enough. The North Face bag was great. The, the Thermarest uh, X-Therm was awesome. Um, yeah, really no complaints there. Um, just uh, uh, two things that um, need some work. Uh, the bite valve on my um, Osprey hydration bladder, um, I must have compressed it last night, so I did get some water in the tent. I believe from that, I didn't see any other place where it could have came from, probably that. Um, also, I forgot to bring coffee. Like, how did I fucking forget to bring coffee? <laughs> um, so, uh, I failed there as well. But, uh, anyway... Overall, everything else is performing really well. Uh, the sleep system was great. Uh, the tent I'm pretty happy with so far. And uh, yeah, we'll get a few more miles in today. Hopefully the weather will clear up. Good evening, everybody. E Roop Dog here with you. It is just about sunset uh, last night of my trip. Um, getting ready to eat some dinner here this evening. Um, got a fire going, drying out a little bit. Um, so I just wanted to give a quick recap of how um, the, the gear has performed uh, thus far. Um, so far, the, the real standout, the MSR um, through hiker tarp and tent, it's a perfect setup. Um, this evening I found some nice level ground, got a really nice pitch. Um, even able to use some of the extra guy line as a drying rack for my thermarest. Um, so yeah, and also the Tyvek uh, underlayment. It's that is bomb. It's good stuff and free. 
So, um, another standout for this trip, and I've never mentioned this before, not the ultras, but these right here, waterproof socks. Oh my god, these things were a lifesaver today. Uh, so, uh, yesterday I hiked in 10 miles uh, with just wearing normal socks. Uh, they're drying here by the fire, I'm just making sure they don't catch on fire. Um, so I hiked in with those yesterday. The feet felt good, except of course they were soaked, it rained all day. Um, put on my waterproof socks um, for walking this morning, because uh, I knew my shoes were still going to be wet. And they were just like a dream to hike in. They were absolutely amazing. So go for the waterproof socks, it's worth the 20 bucks on Amazon. Uh, I got Laeva's. Um, I also bought a pair of Randy Suns. I haven't tried those yet, but they're kind of the same idea. So get some waterproof socks. They are really good. Um, and yeah, I think that's about all I wanted to mention. Um, oh, another lifesaver that I found at REI Garage Sale. These um, Gore-Tex uh, over mitts. So these things, are, they're super light. Uh, there's no insulation to them really. They, they're just uh, Gore-Tex, they're windstopper and waterproof. And I was hiking uh, with these on earlier today in the rain and you know the vegetation around the trail was all wet so I was able, able to keep my um, my regular gloves dry and my hands somewhat warm. It was, it was pretty cold this morning. You know, it snowed on me and everything. Even hailed too. And uh, yeah, tent did just fine. Uh, and I was plenty warm in my North Face bag. So uh, that's uh, the update for this evening. I'm going to get some dinner here and dry out some more by the fire and then hopefully see some stars as it's clearing up. Well, that was fun. Thank you all for staying tuned. Um, so just a couple points to wrap this video up. Um, so after three days and two nights um, on the trail in all types of weather, I had rain, snow, um, hail, wind, uh, a little bit of everything, a little bit of sun too. Um, I have to say I'm very happy, uh, number one, with the tent setup. I, I love having the two-part tent where you can set up the tarp and then build everything underneath of it. That works perfectly, especially in the rain. Um, number two, I love the Osprey backpack, uh, the Stratos 50. It was plenty big for all of my stuff. Um, I had plenty of room. Uh, I could have easily carried four or five days worth of food. Um, and I... Uh, Gotta love that integrated rain fly. It was absolutely awesome. Love the backpack. Um, love uh, the North Face sleeping bag. I, I'm honestly really happy I did not buy a quilt because um, I, I laid on my X-Therm um, just with nothing underneath me and I, I feel like I would have been pretty cold at night had I just had a quilt. So I'm really glad I went for a full sleeping bag because I, I am a cold sleeper. I, I like having any bit of extra insulation I can have. Um, having said, the, the X-Therm was amazing, it's super comfortable, it's a very thick pad, yet light. Um, my only complaint is that it does not go back into its stuff sack very easily. Um, you, you're never going to get that factory size ever again, uh, so that, it kind of sucks, but, uh, other than that, I mean, it's a great sleeping mat, and it better be for the price, right? <laughs> Costs more than the backpack it rides in. Um, and then, uh, let's see. Uh, waterproof socks. That is, is something I cannot stress enough. I absolutely love the waterproof socks. They were great um, paired with the ultras. They were great for hiking in. I did probably at least 10 miles uh, the second day of my trip wearing the waterproof socks and they were amazing. Buy waterproof socks please. They're totally worth the money. Um, and then uh, yeah last thing um, is uh, the, the ultras. If you're not used to hiking in a zero drop shoe, make sure you get out and do your training hikes because my hamstrings were on fire on the second day. Like my legs are so dead. Uh, I only did 30 miles and my legs are super tired. Uh, so I, I just have to get used to hiking in the zero drop. Other than that, I uh, absolutely love the shoes. They're super comfortable, um, nice grip. And yeah, no complaints other than uh, you just gotta get used to it. That's just the way it is. If you're not used to hiking in uh, shoes with no heel, then it's gonna it's gonna take some adjustment. Um, 
yeah, so stay tuned uh, for lots more good content. I'm going to have, I'm going to start a series on uh, what I eat while backpacking, some recipes for you. Um, you know, just like you saw in the video, my, the fish soup that I like to make, it's excellent comfort food. I'll get a video on that soon. Um, what I wear, I'm going to do a little episode on that. Um, I don't go for fancy clothes. I like to shop at Goodwill and you can find some good stuff at Goodwill. We'll talk about that. Uh, so yeah, lots more to come, lots more training hikes uh, for this year coming up. Please stay tuned, and I hope you're enjoying it. Please like and subscribe. Take care.